and it was the u it's uniforms and the heraldry or heraldry hell. <laughs> Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So, when I was on the town the last kind of week or two, um, I happened to pick up this Uniforms and Heraldry, the Skaven book, in the second hand bookshop. Um, this is brand new. Um, sometimes the shop sells some old Warhammer stuff that they manage to find. But um, this is brand new and I got it for a pretty good price off, off the woman that works there. Um, I know her pretty well, so she sorted me out. Um, I was really happy to pick this up because I remember when this came out I just kind of thought like oh it was a waste of money who would buy that but like over the last year or something like that I've been getting into scaling like mad and this is like so this is perfect for what I'm kind of into now um, so basically all it is it goes through the scaven society is all clans and this basically goes over some of the clans that they have made and it kind of shows their you know the clan markings and um, colors they use and banners and everything so um it's i haven't read through it all properly yet i just kind of had a quick glimpse through it i've spotted a few clans that are kind of pretty noticeable and um, like here it shows a lot of scaven runes some of them are named and some of them are just markings that you could use and talks about the council of 13 and um, so yeah and then i think it starts off with um, with the four big clans, or was it the five big clans? You have Clan Eshin, uh, Pestilens, Molder, and Skyer, and then it goes into the Grey Sayers, and then the Warlord clans. Now, um, the kind of the Clan Eshin, them four are the kind of the main ones that, if you know anything about Skaven, these are the ones you hear the most. You have like Clan Eshin, they're like the ninja guys. An assassin's clan, uh, pestilence is like the plague fellas who have like poisons and everything. And Pox's clan Mauler are the guys that make all the big, um, kind of like the big, like the hell pit abomination and the big rat ogre, or the yeah, the rat ogre you can see there. Um, and then clan Skyer, I think they're the rich ones, but they have like they're the guys with the warlock engineers, the wizard guys. I think they make a lot of. Um, like machines and everything, like yeah, like they where you have the the warp lightning cannon, they do all that kind of stuff. So it's like there's not a whole lot of reading to do on each can. It kind of, it kind of, it kind of just goes over a little bit, but you get to see some of the colors you could use, like Clan Skyer or Scryer. Like there's a lot of green in it, dark green. Um, then you have like some of the banners that you can get ideas from, which is perfect for me because I'm just terrible with coming up with ideas for banners. So if I wanted to use, like, a, if I wanted to get a good idea for a banner, I'd definitely flick through this. Um, and then you have the Gracers. Then you have, like, Albino. Um, Council Guard, which is Stormworm. Um, and then you have your Screaming Bell. So, um, so I, did, I didn't read it properly or fully. I didn't go through it all. I just kind of had a quick flick through it and just get a lot of, um, there's a lot of cool stuff in it, you know. But some of the ones that I did kind of catch me eye, I have them marked here. Um, Clan Septic, which is, I think the name of that kind of explains all about them. They're kind of like plagues and everything. By the looks of it, no, I haven't read too much about it yet. Um, another one that took my eye was this one. Clan Scurvy. <laughs> these guys what it sounds with they're like that they're fleets they do the boats and all that type of thing um, I'm just having a quick read through it here now very quickly but um, straight away if I zoom in on this guy it looks like he has like a little parrot it's like a little weird parrot rat on his shoulder it kind of represents like, you know like a pirate or something like that so they're definitely something that I'd like to look a bit further into. Um, there's one more I did have marked on this. If I can find the page I had marked. I think it was before this. Yeah, Clan Septic. 
Ah, oh, Clan Morkin, that's it. These guys, that's when I quickly read it, it's like they use their skulls of giant rats and of their enemies, you know, as helmets. Like, I'd also be able to get like skull bits of plastic like that to fit over a head perfectly. It'd be pretty awesome. Um, this guy down here has it as well. And I think there's one more. This guy over here has it on his back a bit more. If I can get it up there. You can see him. So it would be kind of nice to be able to get some Skaven skulls. Um, and that's it. I'm not going to ramble on too much about it. So the only thing I don't understand about this is like, I'm going through the clans here. And then it'll come to this, the Death Vermin. And I'll explain a little bit about them on the bottom. And that's it. It'll just go to another clan after that. So I'm not sure if that's like a separate clan. Or whatever's after this is what falls under the dead vermin type of clans. I'm not sure about that, so if anyone knows about that, just let me know. Um, yeah, so I think every now and again I'll just pick out a clan, and um, and I'll just you know do a little review about it, review about it, see what it says about here about them, and kind of share about it and what their speciality kind of is. You know, what's the clan known for? Maybe even try and do a model or two for it. Wouldn't mind trying to like get them in their colours um, yeah so if anybody has got this book I know to do it I think to do Empire and to do what's the other one High Elves I'd like to get the Empire one because I'm going to try and start getting into a few Empire bits now soon so I'd like to get my hands on that but um, this is the only one I've seen around town so far so if any of you have seen this let me know what you think about it um, personally I think it looks good, it's a nice little book to read if you're into like, the fluff side of things, like, there's no rules or anything in this. Um, so um, let me know in the comment section, hit the like button if you think it's a good looking book. And uh, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and i see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.